<laughs> okay. No problem, no problem. And you know what, Dr. Malik, you know what I need to ask you. We're mm-hmm. going to start with kids, but I can okay. really, you know, almost go anywhere. Okay. You know, you have these young kids that are w- walking around, you know, they think it's cool to walk mm-hmm. around with their pants down to their butts and walking around with two earrings mm-hmm. in there. What, what, what does this stem from and what's the solution? Well, I tell you, <laughs> I, I don't want to be bogus. No. So I don't want to say that it's because they started naked mm-hmm. and because they started naked and without the proper guidance, they go back to ne- nakedness. Mm-hmm. See, people get things all confused. A kid walking around in his diaper, he's a little behind out, ain't nobody paying no attention. But when the kid gets to be 13 and he's still walking around with his behind out, that's because mama stopped paying him attention. Okay. So if mama, daddy, grandmama, somebody would pay this little rascal some attention, then when he get 21, he won't be walking around with the crack of his behind showing, thinking that's cool. What happened is because they were not structured okay. into respect for self and society, they walk around looking like heathen. But if you call them what they are and say they should go back to the bush where they can be naked okay. and look just like the gorilla or the baboon, then they say that's inappropriate conversation. No, it's how you act it. It's how you project it. Now, as it relates to the tattoos and the earrings, well, those were symbols. Once again, there are tribes in different cultures that scarification. Yes, sir. So a tattoo is just modern scarification. But back in that day, people knew what the scars represented. Now, a sucker just put anything on their body and not know. But sometimes you put symbols on your body that works against you. Once again, that's because they don't have supervision and they don't have knowledge and they're so stupid that they just follow whatever they see. Now, I think the earring is something they need to understand. Some of y'all remember when you're talking about kids. I remember, and I know Tucker remember, and I know you remember. And I know Jose remember, and I know Keith remember, and I know Boise remember yeah. how kids were kicked out of school and their educational career was disrupted. They were suspended because they had a earring. Yes, sir. Or they had a tattoo. Well, today, a whole lot of folks got tattoos. They might not be five-point stars. They might not be six-point stars. They might not be bunnies and champagne glasses and walking sticks. But they still tattoo, including the police and the judge. What's the solution? So, well, the solution is in the definition and the, the layout that we were talking about here. The definition is simple. Earring, on the other hand, represented ownership okay. by the slave master. So when you look at what you got and what condition you got, and you try to find a solution, well, the solution ain't something that I can speak on because I don't have that problem. My okay. kid is not that kid with his crack showing, okay. but it might be the kid with the tattoo. Now, the bottom line is each parent have to determine the solution for their own kid. Yeah. And that's the problem. We go around thinking that there's some blanket collective solution. There ain't no damn blanket solution. Ain't nobody sitting here with no magic wand. Yeah. The solution is that each one teach one. And if you got a dozen, teach the dozen. But if you corrupt, how can you guide your kid? And that's the problem here. So, so Michael Jordan she be, shouldn't be the role model. Um, For what? Iverson, Iverson shouldn't be the role model. Your parents should be that role model. Well, if your parent is credible. But your parent in this day and time is prison, Department of Correction. That's your parent because you got structure. Your parent used to be the school, but they, man, the school can't do nothing because the teachers are scared. Teacher raise their voice, then the teacher get fired because yes, it's political. So now the parent have to go almost back to the nations of the street. Whereas they have to decide, since some of these leaders allowed themselves to be sucked into this, they picked that up in the penitentiary. He was a lie. Wasn't nobody wearing their drawers down like that because the dude would have been turned out. So don't t- come out here and you, the so called leader, say, well, they're coming out of the penitentiary with that. That's foolishness. You're doing this because you're just stupid and ignorant. Anybody in their halfway right mind know you don't walk down the street with your drawers. Is the only thing we see. Why have on pants if you're going to walk around showing your drawers? 